it's always good to win when you don't play well. Uh, we didn't play well. I take full responsibility for the performance. I didn't prepare the team well enough. Um, so I've got some things wrong. I've got a lot of homework to do over the weekend. So I'll make sure the team plays much better against Wales. But at the end of the day, after the first game, if we were if we were on, how many points is the win? Uh, four for the win. Four points. If we were on four points, uh, we'd be happy, and we're happy. But we know we can play better. Um, so it's upward and onwards. Uh, we play Wales next week. Can't wait to get there. So England versus Wales in Wales. Can you believe the test record? 60% of the tests have been won by Wales. Only 40% have been won by England. So obviously mentally there's things that go on. Because I've been to... I've been to the Principality Stadium, it's just another ground. So we'll need to work out why the English don't play well at, at Wales. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's something to do with crossing, what is it, Sven River? Yeah, Seven. Seven River, yeah, whatever it is. I used to be a geography teacher, I'll, I'll look it up. Um, but, you know, I thought it was a great result from our 23. Yeah, and that's one of the things that, that keeps us in good stead. We've got a very strong bench. Yeah, given that we've got four of our top class forwards out that we can still bring on a bench that makes a difference is a great testament to the to the depth of the squad and uh, yeah I'm very pleased for the team not pleased with our performance but it's the first game of the tournament and we'll improve well if I knew I would have fixed it so I don't know I'll have to go back and have a look maybe I've been too nice to him smiling too much Maybe I've got to be a bit harder. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, we were just off the pace. You know, we're a go get them team and we sat sat away from them. Um, yeah, it was quite strange. Half time, you know, we weren't even panting. It was like we hadn't even played a game of, of rugby. So the second half was much better. You know, if we if we fixed a couple of handing errors in the second half, it would have been much better. You said that you don't play well, but maybe it's because France didn't play not too well. Well, France are a good team, yeah, and they've got some brilliant individuals. And I thought, yeah, as, I, as I've been saying all week, I think the French are, are going to be a dominant force in world rugby. I think, yeah, they're selecting right, they've got a big physical team, and they're starting to, to understand how to make modern French flair. Did they surprise you somewhere? Uh, no, it didn't surprise us. No, yeah, I thought they're a very good team. They should have beaten New Zealand, mate. Yeah, if Barrett doesn't score the intercept, they win the game. So during the weekend, you sensed a little bit of complacency in one of the meetings. Did that spill over into the game at all? I don't think we were complacent. I, I just think we were so far away from playing how we play. You know, whether players fell back into into club habits, I'm not sure. Particularly the forwards. You know, our, we're at, at best when we're at the opposition. We've got big forwards running at them, and we didn't do that in the first half. We sat back, and as a result. We didn't get any quick ruck ball, and as a result of that, we couldn't attack. Do you think the, uh, well, I think, I think, yeah, we probably missed them, but there's no excuse. You know, we're going to have to learn to play without them. Ah, uh, preparation, preparation. I'm happy with selection. Look at the, the team that finished the field. You know, they, they were superb. So we got selection right. What made the difference the end? Well, I think fr the French were tiring. You know, we could have broken them in the second half. You know, daily scores in the corner. I think it would have been an entirely different game, you know. And we just missed a couple of passes. We missed a couple of opportunities to really break them, and we didn't do that. Um, but the bench definitely made a difference. You know, Haskell, I thought, you know, for a guy that's played 35 minutes and 35 seconds, was, was brilliant. Um, and Ben T.A. did really well for us. How close with Ben Beater pushing for a start, maybe for you now? Not just that, but what you've seen from more. Uh, well, yeah, we've got some nice selection issues, which is good. And what does it say about the character? For a long time, I thought we were always going to win the game. Yeah, you know, I thought we were awful, but I thought we were always going to win the game. Um, and that's what I like about these boys. Yeah, you know, they've, they've got a. 
never say die attitude. They keep at it, and even when they're not playing well, things aren't going right. You know, we've got guys run, running wrong lines. The first line out looked like we hadn't practiced line outs. Poor old Steve. Yeah, you know, he hasn't got much hair now. He's going to be worse than me soon. Um, yeah, it looked like we hadn't practiced, and these things happen, um, and, it's, and, and we'll get through it. What did you make of Maro Toche starting at six? Did good, mate. Fantastic. Really good performance. Young guy. First time he's called in test line-outs in test matches. It was bloody hard, mate. He did a great job. So I was really happy with him. Yeah, whether it doesn't matter whether four, five or six is best position. Yeah, he copes with, copes with whatever he can he's put into, and he did really well. And you've made history with 15 minutes. What does it mean to you? What does it mean to the group? Why would that be? Because we want to win the Six Nations. You know, if we win the Six Nations, I'll stand up here and do handstands. I'll be that happy. You know, we're in a tournament now. Records, you know, they don't mean anything. You score 100 in a test match and the next day you can get out for a duck. So, uh, you know, for us it's about keep improving. We want, to, we want to be Six Nations champion and that starts now by beating Wales next week. So that's the only thing that matters now. Now, it's a lovely to have a record, and I'm sure, you know, it's it's great for the RFU and it's great for the supporters. And I thought, uh, was Jim Telford there today? <laughs> I thought the crowd was fantastic. I thought the crowd was fantastic. I didn't think they were arrogant. I thought they were very uh, well-educated, passionate, supported France when they did well. So maybe maybe I'll buy a ticket for Jim uh, to come to a game. Did you do anything differently? Did you pick the balls or is there just nothing you can do to stop that offloading? Did you just seem to get out of the way? Oh, well, we're just slow. You know, we're slow to get off the line. And he's a talented player. You know, he's he's a special boy, pick a mile. He's a good player. Thank you much. Done. Thank you.